Hey Guru Nation, welcome back to the clinicaltrailsguru.com. Headed to my uh, first IMV for this particular study that I'm a contract CRA for. And I thought it'd be a good time to do a video on uh, what you need to do uh, to prepare for your first monitoring visit as a CRA. So this is an interim monitoring visit. So as you can see here, I have a list of things that I'm bringing of, of goodies. Uh, one of them is my sticky notes because you've got to put these things on the rec binder or the source documents whenever there are issues that the site needs to correct. I have my interim monitoring visit report right here. Uh, I print that out. Some monitors like to type on it while they're doing the visit. I'm old fashioned. I like to handwrite and then when I get back home or later at the site when I'm done with SDV. I will go ahead and go through that. I have also printed out emails from the project manager because lucky me, I get to retrain the site today because they had some issues. So I'm not gonna show you those, but it's here, it's email with the issues. So I know, I don't have to think, I just know what I need to do when I get there. Uh, and then of course, I got the protocol, which is in this case, a uh, fairly massive, document uh so yeah that's it that's what i'll be doing the first thing i'll be doing when i get there is sign the uh monitoring visit log on the investigator site file then i will probably do the training retraining with that email uh all the issues pertaining to that email and lucky me i get to be joined today i get a co-monitor uh two people from the sponsor are actually coming to co-monitor with me Although I'm told that they are not there to give me extra work, but we'll see about that, right? Maybe we'll put them to work. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you very much. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat as I'll be documenting more of this. And talk to you soon, Guru Nation. Take care. Also forgot to mention, uh, I'll, of course, be doing source data verification. We'll see how that goes with the co-monitoring especially from the sponsor level. Uh, maybe a little awkward, uh, all of us huddled around one laptop looking at the EDC, but I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, I do plan on doing some source data verification, and there actually is a worksheet that your CRO or sponsor will give you as the CRA for um, jotting down which visits and which subjects you've done SDV on. And so that is something I have handy with me. This is the first time I'm using this EDC system. So I have the um, manual for how to use it, how to issue queries and such. Uh, so I'll be looking through that. I played around with a little bit of it yesterday. Uh, seems pretty fairly straightforward. Uh, and then I should add that afterwards, I'll be doing my monitoring report. I'll also send a follow-up letter and prior to my visit, I sent a confirmation letter. So that's about it. And uh, that's what an IMV entails when you're a monitor. Make sure you subscribe, like, add your comments, and talk to you soon. And follow me on all the social networks. Bye -bye.